Are you still trying to do the smooth fade up text animation in After Effects? Well, don't worry, because today we'll show you step by step everything you need to know and how you can do it. To start, I search out a clip from Iron Man 3 just to show you guys. And what you want to do first is add your text. To do that, you're going to go head to the top row and select this text icon. Now click onto your screen and type your text. Now once that's done, you're going to notice that your text is centered to the left side of your screen. And to fix that, all we got to do is just click on our text layer, head to our paragraph section and select the centered one. Now open your align panel and center the text to the middle of the screen. Next, we're gonna add some smooth text effects to make the text look even better. We're gonna start by adding deep glow, so just open your effects and presets panel and search for the deep glow effect. And once you found it, make sure to add the deep pro effect on your text layer. And now we're gonna adjust our settings. To start, make sure to enable this little check mark that says required for text. Then we're gonna go ahead and change our radius from 250 to 140. Next, change the exposure from 1 to 0 0.8. Put the threshold up to 100. Do the same thing for the smooth threshold. And last but not least, we're gonna set the spread from 33 to 28. Now next, we're gonna add a drop shadow to make it look even better. So go ahead to your effects and presets panel and search for drop shadow. Add it onto your text layer and now just copy my settings again. We're gonna change the opacity up to 100, the distance from 5 to 8, and the softness from 0 to 20. As you should be able to tell by now, compared to before, our text looks way better now. Now next up, we're gonna add the smooth fading up animation. But before we do that, make sure to separate your text layers and correctly adjust them to what your characters are saying. To do that, just make sure to go ahead to the next time where a new sentence starts and cut your text layer by pressing Ctrl Control, Shift and D. Now on the newly separated text layer, you can go ahead and change the text to the next sentence. Now once you've done that, it should look something like this. So now we're gonna add our smooth fading up animation. Now make sure to select the text layer that you wanna put the animation on, head to your effects and presets panel and search for the animation preset, slow fade on. Once you found it, make sure to drag it onto your clip and now press U to bring up the keyframes. As you can see, you now have two more keyframes on your text layer. The first one basically is at 0%, meaning where your text is not visible at all. And the second one is gonna be at 100% where your text is gonna be fully visible. So we're now gonna make sure to drag the second one to the time where our character finished speaking the current sentence. Now for me, it's gonna be right here. So I'm gonna go ahead and drag the keyframe till it fully fits. Now, because my character is speaking pretty fast, I'm also gonna adjust the first keyframe. So in order to make it fit to the clip, I'm just gonna drag it a bit over our timeline. So what we're gonna add next is some fading out so that our text doesn't just end. To do that, just go ahead approximately five frames before your clip ends. I'm just gonna zoom in a bit. Then click onto your text layer and press T on your keyboard to bring up the opacity property. Now set a keyframe at your current frame. Go to the very end where your text layer ends and put the value down to zero. As you can see, we now have this smooth fading out effect. Now make sure to do these steps for every single text layer that you have. And once that's done, we can now give our text some final touches to make it look way better. As you can see, I now applied all these steps to all my text layers. And what I'm gonna do next is to add some smooth scaling to make it look even better. To do that, we're just gonna pre-compose each layer. Do that by selecting the layer and pressing Control, Shift and C on your keyboard. Now select the bottom option and also enable this check mark. Do that for all your text layers. And once you're done, it should look something like this. Now next, click onto your text layer, press S on your keyboard to bring up the scaling property and disable this little check mark. What that does, it basically means you're disabling constraint proportions and you can now individually scale up your text in each direction. So we're gonna set a keyframe at 100 at the very first frame, go all the way to the end and set a keyframe at 120. Do this for all your layers. And once that's done, you can now see that our text is moving Back towards to us while it's being spoken. What did you do to her? Obviously, how much scaling you put is also going to be dependent on what clips you have. So don't be afraid and play around with the values a bit to make it fit your liking. Now, the last and most important step is going to be adding a good color correction. Adding a good color correction can boost the quality of your edits immensely and is going to make them have a more professional look. So if you want to get the best quality ever, make sure to check out my shop. It's the first link in the description because I'm running a huge sale right now. You can get up to 70% off of my presets and it's going to be an opportunity that's not going to be there forever. So be be fast and get your perfect quality now. Once you've done all these steps, you're good to go. You can now render your edit. And if you like this video, make sure to leave a like, subscribe, and leave a comment down below telling me what tutorial you want to see next. Also, don't forget about the huge opportunity in my shop. Make sure to check out my Discord, where a huge community of editors. You can ask me questions or just get in touch with me. That's it. Thank you for watching and see you next time.